What I have here is the YF122C, a 500Hz mechanical filter for modern Yaesu radios. This is the first mechanical filter I've owned and so far I'm really liking it. Yaesu sells these filters in three different bandwidths, 300Hz and 500Hz for CW and 2.3kHz for single sideband. So this is the more forgiving CW option. I've read comments online that these are not quite as sharp as other brands of 500Hz filter. I'm not too worried, I'm not really a hardcore contester. But even when the band is mostly clear, this makes a huge difference. So I'm, yeah, enjoying having it. It's about 200 bucks for one of these. That's why I haven't owned one until now. Let's have a look how it goes in the radio. I have both the FT817 and the FT897 here. Either one of these radios can accept the uh, YF122C filter. The 897 has two slots, uh, whereas the 817 has only one. It fits underneath the top panel just on the right here. You need to take out the screws holding on the top half of the case. That's these ones on the side, one at the back. These two, two more. Don't bother with these two screws here, they're just holding the speaker on the underside of the case. Guess how I found that out. With the lid off you can see there's a nice big gap down here, it's labelled Option Filter Unit, that's where it goes. If you look very carefully at the underside of the actual filter board you can see that there are holes on the underside of the board that those headers go up into. So there are three pins on the left side and four pins on the right side so it's pretty hard to get it wrong. If you're not very bright, you might try to put it on like this. The filter doesn't work. Guess how I found that out. So let's not do that. Let's slot that into place. That just pushes down. And that's installed. So let's fire up the radio and see what it sounds like. Now that the filter is installed, I need to use the menu to switch it in. I'll press and hold the F key and go to option 38, Opt Filter. By default it's off, it's just using the built-in ceramic filter, so let's go ahead and change that to CW mode using this one. As you can probably hear, that's made absolutely no difference. This is actually quite normal. I'm going to hold F and close that menu. When there is a narrow filter installed, like one of the CW ones, it's necessary to toggle the narrow mode using one of the function menus. So if I press F once and start scrolling through, you can see that on one of these screens it says NAR on the right. That's the one that I want. So if I hit the C button, there we go, that's now switched in that filter. And I can press the C button again to switch it out. So this is pretty handy if I want to search around the band for a QSO and then switch in the filter when I've found one that I want to listen to. And I don't have to keep pressing F either, so long as that was the last menu I used I can keep using the C button even though it doesn't show in AR on the screen. So let's find a QSO and show the filter actually working. So here's the CW QSO in progress. As you can see I've got about S8, S9 noise which is not very good. If I switch in the filter, immediately that just sounds so much better. So we're on 7010 kilohertz, 0.9. And what I'm going to do when they have their next over is um, go down slightly in tuning and show um, that it does actually cut off fairly well. Found someone calling CQ because the other one ended. So you can see we're on 7014.3 kilohertz now. Um, sounds a lot better if you switch in the filter. But let's leave it off for a minute and go down, say, 500 hertz. You can still hear them quite clearly without the filter in place. If I switch it in, it's still there, but very much attenuated. And if I go down another 300 hertz, they're essentially gone. And if I take that filter out again, they're very present without the filter installed. So it's doing a lot for me there. So 
this has been a little presentation about the YF122C. I hope it's uh, given you a bit of a taste of what it's like to install and actually use. 7.3